Hey everyone, welcome back to 2 Idiots Review. I'm Caleb. And I'm Hannah. And our San Diego Comic Con trailer adventure. Yes. Continues. It keeps going. Um, right now we doing uh, Aquaman. <laughs> uh, it dropped just, just a, like maybe an hour, an hour ago yeah. or so. Um, I mean, this is obviously a big one, uh, one that a lot of people have been waiting for. Um, I mean,. I don't know. <laughs> I like I I want it to be good because I like Jason Momoa, but it's just DC doesn't he have... underwhelmed like and a lot of things underwhelmed me in Justice League, but I just felt like I don't know. We'll we'll see. Like I'm, I mean, I I have, I have I want it to be good because like I said, I like Jason Momoa and it's got Nicole Kidman and it's got like Amber Heard and it's got all these people, so I'm right. I mean, they, <laughs> DC doesn't have the greatest track record as of yet, but I mean, they have they have had some. You know, Wonder Woman was obviously really well done, and so I mean, I mean, there's hope. I mean, let's. I mean, yeah. There's no. It's not like oh, they should just pack up and go home. It's like, like we no. we usually try to go into it, even though I mean, we're more Marvel fans than we are necessarily DC fans, but we do try to at least go into the movies like, hey, like Open let's like, let's hope yeah. it's gonna be good, and then you know if it is great, like it was with Wonder Woman, we came out, we're like, wow, that was actually pretty yeah. good. Um, so all we can hope for is that Aquaman will have a similar effect. Um, I mean, their trailers are usually pretty good, regardless. So, <laughs> I know. They always, uh, yeah, they always their, have their, a good trailer. Their trailers are always pretty, uh, are always pretty epic, but, um, so let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's see, let's see what we got. My father was a lighthouse keeper. It's kind of sounded like Thor. My mother was a queen. <laughs> well, what are we watching? But life... As a way of bringing people Life together. Finds a way. <laughs> we could unite our worlds one day. Check it out. Arthur is talking to the fish. Oh, they made oh, me what I am. <laughs> Permission to come aboard. I've been looking for you. Your half-brother, King Orm, is about to declare war upon the surface world. The only way to stop this war is for you to take your rightful place as king. Trust me, I am no king. You do your best thinking when you're not thinking at all. That was the worst pep talk ever. You might want to strap in. because you're of two different worlds. That is exactly why you are worthy. That was awesome. The war is coming to the surface. And I'm bringing the wrath of the seven seas with me. Um, I mean, the visuals are really well. Yeah, like, when when they kind of went into, like, Atlantis and you're seeing, I was just like, oh my gosh, like, that looks, like, visually, it was, like, amazing. It was, it was. Um, um some of the dialogue, it, <laughs> <laughs> it was a little, like, ex like, I don't want to say expected, but it was, like, the typical, I feel like, set up with some of like the jokes you know yeah. it was like permission to come aboard and i was like oh come on like we can you can do better than that like and story-wise i got a lot of black panther vibes a little bit i did <laughs> at one point there was one point where i was like when he was coming to fight his brother for like the throne and i was like is this like i i know i've seen this before <laughs> <laughs> i was like all right um 
But, I mean, you know, it looks like Jason Momoa's having a blast. <laughs> so, uh, um, I don't know. It's hard. The trailer looks decent. Like, some of the special effects look good. You know, I didn't see any weird faces. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, you know, even with this, like, it's hard to tell really, like, what we're going to see a little bit. Um I one thing I'm a little bit confused at is, I don't know where this falls on the timeline. Like, I was actually thinking that same thing. I was like, at first I was like, okay, well this takes place after Justice League, and then after a while I was like, or does it? I'm like, yeah, I, I'm I don't sure. know. I'm not sure, yeah. So, I mean, that seems a little bit unclear for now. I mean, I imagine once we see the movie, it'll probably make and sense I feel one like way or another. If, if it, like, you know, comes before Justice League, I could kind of understand, but then at the same time... It's like, why didn't you just make it before Justice yeah, League? Yeah, <laughs> well, because, I mean, I assume he wins and he takes over the throne. But he wasn't But he wasn't, he wasn't king, king in, in Justice League. Justice League. So, so it probably takes place after, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. Maybe um, that's kind of like, kind of going concurrently some parts, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But uh, the only... Like, I don't know what this was, but... <laughs> Uh, the only, like, weird aspect of the trailer that I didn't like was, like, him as a kid at the aquarium or whatever. Like, that whole sequence was just kind of Yeah, that's what I said. It was weird. like hey, Harry Potter vibes, where he's, like, controlling the snake. And, like, and then, oh, yeah. yeah. Was just, I don't know. Something, but, something about that whole thing just seemed a little weird, but I don't know. But, I mean, other than that, like, you know, it's... It, it looked it decent. Looks, it looks decent. decent. So... I look forward to, like, the second trailer. Because hopefully some of these questions... Yeah, because I feel well, and I feel like sometimes, you know, you get you get to see different different aspects of it, and sometimes they show it in different ways, even, like, some of the same footage. Right. So I'm kind of curious to see the second one um, now. <laughs> and I want it now. Um, so I can kind of see what it's kind of shaping up to be. Right. Um, but... He'll always be called Drogo, <laughs> so I'll always be a fan of Jason Momoa. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with this. I mean, it looks like, it, you know, considering the premise is a guy, like, riding on sharks and, like, fighting. <laughs> I mean, they they did it in a well way. I mean, yeah. it doesn't look like it's going to be like, oh, geez, like, he's riding a shark. Like, it no. looks like, oh, like, like well, right. I feel like, you know, we go in, like, knowing, like he's going to be doing these kind of things. Like, well, you have true. to, you know, you have to... But I still feel like they, at least it looks like, visually, it looks like they're, it looks like to be a little bit more grounded than some of the past DC movies, even though he is doing crazy things like riding sharks yeah. and sea urchins and all the other kind of uh, <laughs> sea creatures that they had. Kind of, poor Sebastian. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so it looks, it looks pretty, it looks decent. And, I mean, we'll see it when it comes out regardless of what the second trailer shows and whatever. And I hope to go in and just be blown away. Like, every time we go to any movie, we're not going to be like, oh, I hope this, I hope this is terrible. I, know, like, I don't want to waste two, uh, two and a half hours of my life. <laughs> so, like, we go in hoping that it's good. And so that's, that's going to be our hope when we see this. Um, but let us know what you guys thought in the comments. If you'd like the trailer, if you're excited for the movie. Um, like and subscribe. Turn those notifications on because we're, we're be doing, doing Shazam next. Yes, Shazam's coming next, and we got a bunch more. Um, so yes, thank you for watching.